Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Macy, and today, as you can tell from the title of the video, I'm going to be transforming this aloe vera plant into oil for extreme hair growth. It's super easy and it's super affordable and inexpensive, so let's get into the video. So, when you have your aloe vera plant, these are very inexpensive. They're probably like $1.50 at your local supermarket. But when you have that, you're going to get your knife, and you can see that I'm pointing at the edges of the aloe vera plant that is very spiky and i don't like that so we're gonna go ahead and cut those off with a big ass knife <laughs> So now that we cut off the edges, I'm gonna go ahead and take that white part off because I'm not really sure if it has anything in the first place, but I'm gonna cut that off and save it for later. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut them in thin slices. What I ended up doing, I ended up cutting it very thick thicker than I was supposed to but if you can cut them thinner than I actually did that would be perfect a very helpful tip I know is stabbing the aloe vera plant and making a mark into it because I know that it's very hard cutting through the aloe vera plant as is because the skin is so rough so stabbing it and making a mark and then cutting is very helpful but if it helps you or not take it or leave it So I ended up cutting that last slice very thick, like it was very thick which I didn't want because the thicker the slice is the longer it takes to cook which you guys will see in a few but um, I end up showing you guys what's left of the aloe vera plant which is a lot. I end up taking the slices that I made and calculating it to see how much oil do I think I can make. This all depends on you. If you guys want a, a small amount of oil, if you guys want a large amount of oil, I want all of it because it was, it was for both me and my mom. So I wanted all of it. So I realized that that small little batch right there was not enough. So I went back and I cut some more so that basically I cut everything. I cut the whole aloe vera plant. But again, it all depends on you and your preference. So I don't show myself cutting the rest of the aloe vera plant because I cut them in batches or I cook them in batches. So this right, th this right here was two individual batches. Um, I end up getting a glass mug right here and I put just enough just so that I can cook it in the mug, if that makes sense. You guys, you guys will see what I'm talking about. So I ended up grabbing my olive oil, which I heard it was 
great for natural hair because it has all these omega fatty acids which promote hair growth but whatever oil you, you are comfortable with will work just fine so i end up putting it in this boiling hot water which was the worst mistake of my motherfucking life okay okay So the first batch I ended up transferring into this tin cup I guess and this is how it looks when it's done. So I went ahead and got the second batch and put it in the same cup and did the same steps with the olive oil and I put the fire on low because if you put it on high it's possible that the nutrients will burn. Obviously that glass cup wasn't having it for nothing I'm about to get my ass beat but that's okay. That's okay. So about 10 to 15 minutes, it should look like this. It should look browned and done. That's how you know that it's good to go. So now I just got the slices and I put it on the strainer, which I apologize for covering the camera. But I put it on the strainer so that we can strain all of the oil from the slices. And I end up getting this spoon and I use the back of it so that I can press the slices in so we can just get all of the oils and all the nutrients. So this part is optional. You don't necessarily need to add additional oils, but I'm gonna do it. I added Jamaican black castor oil, wild hair growth, and eucalyptus oil. So now you're going to find like a small little jar or a bottle that you can put the mixture in. I found this little jar in the um, cabinets above me. So I'm going to use it and I'm just going to add, put the um, mixture into the jar and yeah. This mixture was very easy to make. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys found my explanation to be a bit hard to understand, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that explain it better than I ever can. But please like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with me on social media, and I'll have more videos coming soon. See you guys later. Bye!